Hey friends, welcome to How to Be a Megan. So today we're gonna to talk about groundhogs because I've seen a ton of groundhogs lately and what are they? Do you know what they are? Let's find out. Um, so groundhogs have a lot of names, including but not limited to whistle pig, which just tickles me to death, Canada marmot, red monk, thickwood badger, monax, and woodchuck. And the babies can sometimes be called chucklings. How adorable is that? These guys are native to North America from as far north as Alaska to as far south as Mississippi, and especially on the East Coast, which is true, because like I said, I've seen a lot of them. They usually weigh between 4.4 and 13.9 pounds. Um, but in the fall, they weigh even more because they do this thing that is our word of the day, autumn hyperphagia, which just means that they eat a whole bunch of food and get all fat and curvy for the winter because they are true hibernators. When they hibernate, their heart beats only about four to 10 times a minute. And when they're not hibernating, it's usually 75 beats a minute. So it really slows down as well as their breathing. They might only breathe once every six minutes. And normally they breathe like 16 times a minute, which is pretty similar to us humans. Their body temperature also decreases from 99 degrees Fahrenheit to 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, the freezing point of water is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So, whoa, that's really cold. Again, they're true hibernators. This is what that means. Their metabolism slows down so that they aren't, you know, digesting all the food and everything and getting really skinny really fast during the winter so they don't have to eat, they can just sleep. Like other rodents, their incisors never stop growing and the incisors are these front teeth that we use for biting things off. Their incisors grow about 1 16th of an inch every week. So they gotta keep chewing and keep nibbling to wear their teeth down or else they'll grow so big they can't close their mouth all the way. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Well, woodchucks don't actually chuck wood. Sea beavers. The name woodchuck actually comes from a Native American term for these guys, woodchuck, which means digger. And they are very good diggers and they live in burrows. They can also climb trees very well and swim. They're multi-talented. However, that rhyme says if they could chuck wood. So a researcher from Cornell University hypothesized that it would be about 700 pounds of wood that they would chuck. And this is based on how much dirt, the volume of dirt that was removed from one of their burrows. Speaking of their burrows, they build their burrows with a separate chamber uh, just for going to the bathroom. They build their homes with a bathroom. Yes, they're smart like that, that's cool. So do any of the woodchuck's names describe them accurately? Yes, actually, Whistle Pig, that name that tickles me, describes them pretty well because when they are in danger, they emit a high-pitched whistle or squeal to let other groundhogs know about the danger. Woodchucks are mainly vegetarians, eating grass and other plants, even tree bark, but sometimes they will eat grubs um, and other insects. So woodchucks are actually helpful to humans. They are used in medical research in liver cancer caused by hepatitis B. This is because they have their own version of hepatitis, a liver virus, similar to the human disease. So back to our original question, what are you, Groundhog? Despite all of these crazy names, it turns out this rodent is a large ground squirrel. So a round, curvy ground squirrel with a short little tail. That's what you are, Groundhog. You're a ground squirrel. Thanks so much for watching, my friends. 
Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.